Well, hey, everybody. I have been busy, busy, busy. Got my yard mode today. Got all kinds of other things done today, but I'm going to make a cheesy, let's see, it's called cheesy chicken and fritos. That's what it's called. We just call it a that chicken frito casserole. But I am going to make a smaller version of it. This is going to be about half. So, here we go. Super simple, super delicious. Let's get a spoon. You're going to need some cheese Whiz. This is a 15 ounce can. I am only going to use half of it. Save that other for another day. Then you need a half a can of cream of chicken soup. So let me get another can because I'll be able, I mean another spoon, I'll be able to save this. Since I'm only making a half, we just don't eat as much as most people. Okay. I'm a hot mess, y'all. That's why I'm not on this camera either. I'm going to mix that up a little bit, and then I'm going to stick it in my microwave and get that cheese all melted up. This is a 7 by 11 casserole, casserole dish. I can't even talk. I'm going to get some corn chips and just line the bottom of it. And I've got to save enough. These bags are just not as big as they used to be. You're going to need, if you're making a bigger batch, you're going to need the big family size. This is a 9.25 ounce bag. Let's see how that got melted up, if any. Not quite enough. Put it in there a little longer. You're also going to need some chopped green chilies. This is a four ounce can, but I am going to only use half of it. You're also going to need some boiled chicken. This is some of my chicken that I've just put up this weekend. It's one of them that didn't seal. Everything else sealed, just not this one. So I stuck it in the refrigerator. So in this bowl right here, I am going to, let me get something to save this broth. You don't need the juice. You just need the chicken. Pour that broth in there. Ooh. That is going to be good for something else. Look at that. It's so rich looking. Good chicken stock. So, here's how it came out. Just like that. I'm just going to shred it up. Look at how easy it shreds. Y'all see that? It just shreds up so easy after it comes out of the pressure cooker. Oh, Gentry smells it too. She loves her some boiled chicken. No, Gentry, you can't have this. This is dinner. This is our dinner. This makes it so much easier. When y'all get your chicken, just go ahead and can it. Raw pack. So easy. And especially if you get yourself a electric canner. It has made everything so easy. I 
I did that for a minute and a half in mine. See how it's kind of liquidy now. And we're going to put about half of these in here. If you want more, you can put more. You don't have to just put half in there. And I'll stir that up with it too. And then I'm going to pour it in with this chicken. I have my oven preheating at 350 Fahrenheit. And let's mix that chicken in with all that cheese. This was two chicken breasts that were in that can. So if you are making a bigger one, like double, you were going to need four good size breasts. These were good size breasts. Depending on what size you have, you may need more. All right, so now I have my corn chips in here. Just gonna pour this over the top. Spread it out. <laughs> Gingery. <laughs> it is okay if you grab some and they make it to the top because we're going to put more on top too. I swear this is the easiest casserole ever. Especially when you already have your chicken done. You can buy that chicken breast in a can at Sam's if you want. But I think it tastes better when you get fresh. And especially if it's your own that you have canned. Make sure it's all covered up. Voila! We're going in the oven. 350 for 15 to 20 minutes. I will be back with y'all. We went for 20 minutes. You can smell the corn chips. I made up some refried beans to go with this. Let's dig in. Gonna have to have this. I'm probably gonna have to have something different. Let's do this. If you are using blaster aluminum, you have got to spray it. This is stoneware, so I did not spray it. Refried beans on here. And I'm going to sprinkle some cheese on top of those beans. Here we go. I'm going to take a photo and then we'll come back and try some. Cheesy chicken frito bake. 
casserole, whatever you want to call it. We'll have to figure something up for a title, huh? But look at that. Mm -mm -mm. That's so good. I gotta go eat. Y'all go make you some. See y'all later. Bye.